Defense is arguably even more important than offense in a game like Sparking Zero. Controlling your opponent's actions and understanding their limits is the key to winning consistently. And the first thing that you should understand is that movement is unbelievably good. Unlike in other games where you can't spot dodge, this game has a ridiculously good spot dodge mechanic, allowing you to spot dodge almost any attack besides rush attacks and blast supers. Seriously, try it out yourself. When timed correctly, you can even dodge rush supers with the spot dodge mechanic. To do this, press the X button in any direction before the impact of the attack. Pressing circle right as you perform the dodge will allow you to do a special spot dodge that will extend your dodge duration, making it easier to time. You can also immediately combo this dodge into another, chaining your evasion together and circling your opponent. Rush attacks will typically take you right out of this dodge though, so be careful. The second most effective technique is blocking. Blocking reduces all incoming damage and prevents you from staggering. However, it's not really very reliable against anything other than supers. This is because you can block in three different directions, top, middle, and bottom. However, enemies can still break this block with multiple different attacks, as well as attack you from behind with ease. The third most effective technique is perception. By clicking the circle and triangle button at the same time, you will activate perception. This is the iconic Sonic Sway technique. If done before the opponent attacks by holding down the input, you will do a counter unique to your character. The perception mechanic has also been updated to allow the player to even deflect blasts and cause cinematic explosions against blast attacks. You can also use it as a counter to the get off me move revenge counter. However, doing these things costs two blast stocks and it also only works when the opponent is directly in front of you. Perception is also especially useful in midair as when using the sonic sway move, holding down the left stick and pressing triangle will send your opponent flying, which will trigger a rush combo. This means that anytime you catch an opponent with sonic sway in the air, you can guarantee a full combo by following it up. However, the most important defensive option you have is the Z counter. Z counters will happen when you press circle button or forward square right as an attack is about to hit you. Notice that I said forward square. While you can do a block Z counter while holding forward and pressing square, the timing is a lot less reliable than moving the left stick forward and pressing square at the exact same time. A Z counter is by far the best way to defend against attacks in this game. Z counters work against every single attack in the game and will always lead to a counter attack as long as you have key. However, because of this, Z counters are extremely difficult to pull off, requiring practically frame per perfect precision to do so. However, there is a secret to these Z counters that may give you the edge in combat. Be observant of behaviors, or boo. By keeping in a close eye on your opponent's boobs, you will be able to properly apply Z counters and use your butt to take them down. For instance, recognizing that someone always goes for the rush in combo gives you a clear window to attempt the Z counter, greatly increasing your chances of pulling it off. Rush attacks in general are great candidates for your typical block Z counter, as basic rush attacks can only be stopped using revenge counter and Z counter. What I'm saying doesn't make it easy to do said Z counters, but spamming the Z counter button randomly is a much worse option and typically not as reliable. However, even if you cannot properly pull off Z counters during a match, Sparking Zero allows you to use the revenge counter by spending one of your blast stocks and striking the opponent back. This will reset the fight back to neutral and do a small amount of damage to your opponent. However, if you're looking to stop a revenge counter user, you can also use super perception as well as Z countering their counter to continue your own combo. Paying close attention to your opponent's boobs will allow you to notice trends in their movements and easily Z counter out of all of their attacks, as well as knowing when to use your spot dodge and block supers giving you a remarkable edge against your enemy. As long as you can grab and stop your opponent's boobs in their tracks, you are on the right path to knowing how to be good at sparking zero.